Hello, everyone. And today is Monday, and this is Art Two, and we're excited to have you back. Um, what we want to do today is just talk a little bit more, learn about um, a different type of way to uh, of art movement. I would say um, today we want to go into and learn a little bit more about pop art and what that consists of. And I want you to try to um, create a piece um, related to pop art. We can prepare for our exam, so we want to finish up strong. So let's. Um, talk about how can we um, use artistic design to create a composition. The way you're going to do that is by, that's our essential question, is by understanding and learning about pop art and applying those techniques with your design. So I'm going to share my screen with you right now, and let's go ahead and get started. So a couple of things we want to look at for this assignment that you're going to do. So you are going to understand that the pop art is a movement that emerged in the United Kingdom and the United States during the mid to late 1950s. The movement presented a challenge to traditions of fine art by including imagery from popular and mass culture. Okay. Um, and it deals with common books, advertisement, mass production materials, printmaking, things like that. So what you are going to do <laughs> is you're going to look at your favorite candy that you like that has really bright designs I want you to um, pick six of your favorite candy, soda, or chips and draw them up close with bright colors and designs. So for instance, let's look at this image here, okay? Um, I don't necessarily want something like this right here, so I'm gonna delete that, but I like the colors on this one, okay? But this is kind of what we're looking for. You're gonna divide your paper up into six sections, okay? And you're gonna just basically crop your candy, but use the colors that you see in the candy. Okay, so we see this here. I think this is taffy, but you see how they cropped it and it's really enlarged. So you really could take a picture and crop it in, in your on your phone if you need to, so you can kind of see how you want it to draw it. This is going to be drawn. Then you see the tots one. Um, you see all these different types of candies, but they're really up close, but they're using really bright colors. So use color pencils or markers in the background to make your bright colors. That's what we're looking for. So um, we want to have six sections. So you see that this one has nine, but I only want you to do six. So you're only gonna, you're gonna pretty much stop it um, right here. So you're gonna have six sections or something similar to this, okay? So pick your favorite candy and go from there. You can see pop art colors and they're really bright colors. So artists that you can use for reference is the Royal Lichtenstein, Keith Hardy, and Richard and Andy Warhol. Um, so those are some artists that you can sort of think about. Um, and when you think about Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol um, had some very interesting pieces. He did the Campbell soup cans, and we're going to learn about him throughout the week. But um, I want you to kind of get, get a glimpse of um, Andy Warhol and who he is and understand um, his process and use those bright colors to create your composition. So you want to do it big so you can see just glimpses of the candy so we can recognize it, but you're going to use really bright colors to create that, okay? So those are some things that you need to think about and look at um, when you do your piece, okay? So I'm going to let you learn about in, um, this particular process on today. I want you to upload um, I want you to start sketching out um, your design um, as well today and upload your progress. Um, so start your progress on it. And um, well, actually, um, yes, go ahead and do that. Um, I want you to watch this video and learn about what pop art is um, as well. But go ahead and start the project. It is gonna be due on Friday. You need markers or paint or a half a sheet of poster board or color pencil, okay? So those are what you, that's the media that you can use to make the piece. All right, so let's see, I'm gonna um, show this video. You can look at this and learn about what pop art is. Hi, I'm Ellie, 
and these are four of my favourite things. Bananas, my red coat, tomato soup and comic books. But what do they all have in common? Two little words, pop and art. Pop art is more than an art movement. It's a lifestyle, a craze, a way of looking at the world. But what is pop art? Pop is young, bold and fun. This is life in the 40s. It's a bit grey. In the 50s, people wanted plastic and glamour. They wanted to have a good time. Buy more, spend more. Don't just watch TV, be on TV. Now you can listen to the Beatles and Elvis, watch cartoons, eat popcorn, drive cars and become famous. Now it was pop art, all about culture. After all, pop art is popular art, art for all. But who were the pop artists? Richard Hamilton, this guy, said pop art was low cost, young, witty, glamorous and mass produced. Hamilton made collages using imagery he found in glossy magazines. Lifting images from films and advertising was completely bonkers at the time. This is one of the famous Marilyn portraits by Andy Warhol. Andy, Andy Warhol, this guy, see, a cool guy. But Andy, art was a product. The same as a production line of Coca-Cola bottles or Camel Soup. He liked to use bright colours and silk screening techniques to produce art on a huge scale. Pretty clever, I'd say. Pop art is revolutionary! Pop artists were competitive. Who could you watch first? Warhol had his advertising. Lichtenstein had his comic books. Pelosi had his collage and Minnie Mouse. Wait, let's go back to Lichtenstein. He used Bende dots to make his artwork look like comics, like the ones you get in newspapers. Female artists were also rocking the pop art trend. This is The Only Blonde in the World by English painter Pauline Boaty. Pauline added fun into her art and was a bit of a rebel. Girl power, Pauline. Pop art came out of the gallery too. Nicola L took this big red coat around the world to get people to get involved with her performance. This made a real pop crowd, not the celebrity faces in other forms of pop art. Pop art can also be found all over the world. In Iran, Parviz Tanaboli was a sculptor and painter. Like other pop artists, he made his art out of things that looked like they could be thrown away. In New York, Jean-Michel Basquiat remixed it with hip-hop and street art. Pop is on TV, on the radio and on the internet. Like right now. Does that mean I'm pop art? Well, there's one thing Andy Warhol and I can agree on. I don't know where the artificial stops and the real starts. All right, guys, so that's just a little brief synopsis about pop art, making sure that you understand what that is. Um, so I want you today to go ahead and get started. Um, remember, you're going to have six sections. So I'm going to share my screen with you and just kind of show you how to break it down um, so you can kind of see how um, your piece can be. Let's see if I can do photo filter. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, so um, basically what you can do, um, there's certain ways that you can divide your paper up. So of course you can do a traditional way where you, um, let me just see here. Um, you can do it a traditional way where you just basically do six sections. And I'm just gonna try to eyeball it. Okay, and you just divide it in those six sections. 
Make sure you have your line straight. Um, you could splice it up where you have six sections coming from one point and you draw in those sections those images that you want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's the option. Um, you could um, do some type of zigzag design and put your candy inside six of those sections because pop art does a lot of things with cartoons like that pal sign. So this could be uh, m, m and M's here, and then you do another one on the outside of that one, and you just continue to keep going until um, you have your six sections. Okay, you can divide your paper up. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four five and six, okay? So you have six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we got seven, but it's up to you. All right, so those are just, um, let me just take one, there we go. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five, and six, there we go. So that's just the option of how you can, you know, do your design, it's up to you. Um, we'll go ahead and upload your um, progress today, get started on this work. Um, and we're really excited to see these and looking forward to seeing your work today.